Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, today uh, I'm going to be doing. Um, let me go. I'm I'm going to be doing one of my healthy smoothies. First off, no, don't let me get tangled up before I get started. But first off, when I did one of my juicing, I asked you guys. Well, you know, I had the little small chit chat on there. And I got a lot of requests that I do a little chit chat that you guys liked it, my little chit chat that I did. So, of course, I prayed over it, thought of it, and whatever. And I was asking the Lord if He would want to use me in that way. Uh, you know, I would, because I was like, what, uh, what is I got to say? What do, what do you know? I can give tips. Some I can give tips. Some stuff like I did that with that hurricane lamp. I showed y'all that little tip with the hurricane lamp. I already got a response from the lady. Uh, one lady said that she already had one, and then that tip that I gave her about the batteries that it helped her, and that was that was one tip that I had. I mean, one response that I got from it, and um. So I said, what I'm going to do, I'm, what I'll be starting out with until I can get all my thoughts together so I won't get up here and uh, just be all over the place with you guys. I am going to, um, I'm going to start out with live lessons. And I'll be giving y'all a little short uh, lessons or tips or whatever uh, that really helped me through life. It just I got some of them I got when I was a a young preteen didn't realize what it meant then but now since I have lived to be in my sixties and stuff like that I'm like oh God been taking care and looking out for me a long time cause you remember that so remember that when you're raising your kids up raise them up in the way they're supposed to go tell them tell them the stuff whether they listen to you right then or not because we all know that they raise kids up they never get what you say one time you got to tell them a hundred times this year and a hundred times next year and then until they get grown you got to keep telling them stuff over and over that's part of parenting and we and i because i know i had to do it with my kids i don't know what y'all had to do with y'all but i did it and um I look at it like this here. God didn't give us but one time, but one chance to raise our children up in the way that they're supposed to go. Now, once that once they get grown, it's over with. You know, you can advise them or whatever the case may be, but they got to at some point go out on their own and make their own way. That's that's gonna be for another video, but uh what uh one of the lessons and stuff that I want to tell you today one came from my um my grandmother and one came from my grandfather let me tell you this little story with them that I had two grandparents uh I had two grand I had a grandmother and a step grandmother I loved them dearly just like uh really I would just say I had two grandmothers and I had two Grand grandfathers, my biological grandfather and my step grandfather, and uh, they loved us to death. And um, especially uh, my grandmother, I mean, my mother was the only child by her daddy and her mother. But later on, after she had got to be about 80 years old, a brother came into play that was, um, uh, was. Uh, his mother just finally told him that she was uh, my grand uh, grandfather's told him that who his daddy was which was my grandfather and it's a story behind that which I'm not going to share but I know one thing when we seen him when we met him because he was around about the uh, same age as I was he, he has since passed when we met him uh, it was you know it was no mistaking that my grandfather was his was his father that old saying that a child of father himself, my granddad spit him out. I mean, even his mannerism and all the way his hands and his physique, and he was he was just like my granddaddy. And uh, and I really hate you know that my grandfather didn't get to know him. But my mama, uh, he he met my mama about five years before she passed, and she was so happy to have another sibling 
and stuff like that. Like I said, that's a, another story. But anyway, I was going to tell you one tip that may help you in life that my grandmother told me when I was a, probably about 12 to 13 years old. I can't exactly remember. But I tell you what, to this day, it has been one of the most helpful things that she have told me along with along with a lot of things people older people used to talk to you then they had a lot of wisdom and they would talk to you and tell you stuff about life uh when you got a certain age they, they never did give you stuff before they thought it was time that you needed to know that but my grandmother she was a she was she was kind of different she wasn't you uh, the uh traditional grandmother because she lived up in New York and we stayed in Alabama and she would come down to visit and she would just you know it was just things was a lot different but this is one thing that she told me uh, like I say when I was about a preteen she told me um, she said it's alright if someone think that they are better than you she said just don't you think it she said, until you think it, it, it'll matter. And you know, that's when it'll matter. She said, you let people think that they're better than you or whatever, all they want to. Just don't you dare think it. She said, you just worry about doing what you're supposed to do and doing it right because God sees all. Now, that's something them older people used to tell us. And I think it really put the fear of God on a lot of us. They told us you can hide a lot of things from men, men but you can't hide, hide nothing from God. And then my granddaddy and also my grandmother, this one tip that he always told us. And um, a lot of times I was uh, <laughs> ear dropping on what he was telling my older brother, my older two brothers, especially after my father died. He came in and played a big role in helping, uh, you know, raise them up because they was older. Anyway, he told them, he said, uh, you treat people like you want to be treated. Don't you say and do nothing to another person that you don't want said or did to you. He said, he said that right, that way you will be in line with God. And he said, if they don't return the favor, they want to act different, don't you worry about that. He said, you just don't associate with them. You leave them alone. He said, if you got somebody that don't know how to treat nobody, nasty and don't know how to treat, treat a person, he said, you ain't got to fool with them. They can't make you fool with them. You go to your house, and they go to their house, and, and and that's the end of it. I just want to share them little uh, life lessons with you guys. I got plenty more, but like I said, I'm not going to try to tell them all to you, you guys at one time. And then I probably need to write them down and, and so I'll know or uh, 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 remember, have I already told you before. So let me tell you what, uh, what kind of uh, smoothie that we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing the, uh, some uh, strawberries, bananas, and this flax, this is ground flax seed. My daughter want me to start on this flax seed, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue not one bit, because she always have told me, Mama, them, that uh, flax seed got a lot of uh, nutrients in it, and it's got something in it, supposed to uh, fight uh, comeback cancer. And stuff, and it also got something in that, uh, what'd you say, omega 3? It's uh, full of omega 3 and a this in or that there and all that, that kind of stuff. I can't remember what y'all, what you guys have to do. I'm gonna tell you about it. Research it. I tell you, like, I you ain't got to, you may already know. But with my daughter and son, I always told them when we were, when they asked me about something that I didn't know about, or uh, whatever the case may be, I always told them, let's research it. I kept two. Uh, uh, the sorceries, a little dictionary and stuff that we all and I made and I and I would have them to go look it up, look it up, let's find it out. So um, I need to do it, but I I hadn't did it. I'm just going by what she said. I didn't have don't think you know she just said, Mama, this is this because she been using flax seeds for a long time. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the flax seed and the uh uh frozen strawberries and banana. Now she always would freeze her bananas, but uh, I ain't frozen no bananas. So I'm gonna put them in like this. I got me some uh, ice on the side if it ain't 
cold enough or smoothy enough or whatever because she normally just have the frozen fruits and stuff when she put in it. This is not one of her green smoothie. Uh, I, you know, I don't use, you know, that, that uh, spinach and stuff is over with. So I am going to use the, uh, the frozen vanilla yogurt. I hope it's softening up some while I'm talking. I'm going to use the frozen yogurt. I love frozen yogurt. My daughter ain't the biggest fan of yogurt, but I use this here frozen yogurt and, uh, that's what I'm going to use instead of the regular yogurt. I got the regular yogurt and I'll be using that too in uh, some of my smoothies or either juices when I get ready to start having these little chit chat with you guys on a regular basis. Okay, now I'm going to tell you um, what we um, what we having for dinner. We've really been eating light and having these little smoothies and drinks and stuff. And it really been making us feel well. You know, I ain't feeling stuff and and none of that. Even though I probably had do me some fried chicken one day this week. We had, you know, I shared in a video with you guys uh, Easter Sunday where uh, we had the um, the baked chicken breast, the, uh, uh, what was it again, sour cream and uh, cream of mushroom, chicken breast. It was, that was a delicious meal. Have you eaten it all yet? <laughs> I got one piece left. Okay. Because, I, you know, I basically fixed that for him to... Um, have for his lunches and stuff when he go to work, and uh, but anyway, I, this time and I knew I was gonna be fixing another meal, uh, probably to well today we are gonna have some uh, ham and red red eye gravy and some uh, a uh, rice. I was gonna have it like for breakfast time, and I wasn't gonna fix biscuits biscuits with it like we normally do, but instead I'm gonna do it over. I'm gonna do it for dinner, so my husband will have that to take to work. Also, if he want, if he don't want to take that chicken, and then now, that ham and red eye gravy. Let me tell you guys something. I will be, um, I will be doing a video on that. I haven't, I haven't put that one up yet. I'll show you how to fix the uh, uh, ham and red eye gravy, and I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna share another tip with you guys. The uh, butcher of the store. That I normally go and get my hams. I'm gonna show you guys how I buy my ham and how I have it uh, fixed and how I store it. That saves a whole lot of money and is uh, just really delicious because I go and have that. I get them hams. This this particular store, it has those shape portion and it has the butt portions, and they're pretty good ham. Very tasty for them not to be so expensive. Well, when they have them on sale. I go and uh, I get, uh, if they do it twice a year, because that's about all they do, do it. Uh, if they do it twice a year, I get some and I have it fixed into ham steaks or just that slice ham where we can have it like for breakfast or whatever. And then uh, when I get a ham steak, I, 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 I prepare it for dinner. And then, uh, and then when it's, when it, uh, Get some when it's summertime. If they have one on there, I just go have them to cut the ham up into ham hocks. And the ham, the ham probably just when I get a ham like that, it'll probably cost me about eight or nine dollars because they usually have it like ninety nine cents a pound. And then you know how high a ham hock is, how high, 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 I mean expensive as a ham hock is. You can pay uh, easily five dollars for two ham hocks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share that with you guys later on. I'm just trying to fix up a whole lot of content for you guys since y'all have enjoyed my tips and me doing that they're sharing and stuff like that. Doing some times like you know, doing these these perilous times and stuff that we in. You know, I know everybody probably having a time to I mean giving time to uh reminisce over their life and probably change their life. And I'm gonna say this here too. I'm gonna give y'all two scriptures to read. And uh, once you read it, once you read them, uh, drop me a comment and let me know that you that you get something out of it. Or did they help you? The first one is going to be Psalms 91. And then the second uh, scripture is uh, 2 Chronicle 7.14. That's 2 Chronicle 7.14. It's, maybe that can help you with some of the times and stuff or get an understanding of on what is what some of the times that we're going through now. And uh 
because I don't want to try to, I'm not, I didn't, you know, this show is not to preach or teach, and I don't really, I mean, uh, uh, about, I don't call it religious, about God's will and the scripture in the Bible, but uh, I wish, I do love to share. You know, you see, I'm a sharing person. So let me get started with this in smoothie, you guys, and then uh, that'll be the end of the video. And I'll have something else the next time to tell you guys. First off, I'm going to start off with this here. A uh, cup of uh, that's this is one cup of um almond milk. This is just a regular, as I got it down right, vanilla almond milk. Or you can use whatever kind of milk that you want to, but I like it. I like my stuff tasting good. I ain't got time for all that. And then I'm gonna go ahead on. Uh, my daughter normally put more flax seeds in hers, but I'm just only putting like a couple of tablespoons of the, the uh, ground flaxseed. I'm putting that in there. And then uh, I believe I'm going to puss it just a little bit. So there, there. I'm going to just puss it a little bit. That look like a lot of it. I want to make sure that there flaxseed get stirred up in there. You know that what that stuff tastes like. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, frozen yogurt. It's soft and some like I had prepared. I, you know, I wanted to do. And my husband will like, he likes this kind better than he do when he do, when we do them green ones. But he said they's okay, they're okay. Brittany, if you watching me, I know you know I'm just doing it. I ain't I don't I'm not an expert on you or how much to put and all that, that kind of stuff. But I just be thinking about the taste. I want to put enough in there to taste good. And then um uh, like I like I told them my bananas are not frozen. So I want to make sure I have enough of this here frozen yogurt. This is some good yogurt. It's uh Oh my goodness, drop my stir on the floor. Let me rinse this off, you guys, because I know I'm going to have to have this. different than you do, do yours, Brittany, because I want to make sure everything is ground up well. Stick this back up there and puss it just a little bit. Okay. Couple of pusses. Then I'm going to go in with my, uh, I need to pull this out some frozen fruits. I got some ice on standby, but I like it like a milkshake. If it's thick enough for a milkshake, I like milkshake, you guys. But I'm gonna tell you about me. I don't like no. I like my uh, milkshake thick. I don't like no. I don't like a soupy milkshake or whatever you would call it. Y'all know I had. A, I may not have the right names and stuff for it, but. I got me some ice on standby if it's not thick enough so I make it like a I rain the frosty. What did I do with my bowl, okay? Let me sit this in stir up over in this bowl. So it won't go sailing on the floor again. I just don't want to cooperate. Okay, let me puss it a few more times. Move out the way, glass. See if I hear me any more chunks. Okay. 
I don't feel any more chunks in there. Sometimes you can't tell until uh, this thing don't go all the way down to the bottom. This stir don't go all the way down to the bottom. And sometimes you can't tell until you get ready to uh, uh, let your uh, juice out. So you know after you puss it, and then you hit this uh, this little mix thing. Mix it all together. When my daughter was a teenager and was doing the same thing, I tried some good, she did some good drinks up in here. I mean, she was mixing stuff. I'd be like, what in the world? Okay, now I guess she did the mixing thing on it. So, uh, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm giving you guys a lesson. Now I got to go ahead on and smooth it out. This one. <laughs> I'm so glad we thought to get these back out. Okay. Let's see, is it ready to come out? And like she said, if I, she did that and then and uh, had that thing in. Can you see it? Yeah, this is gonna be thick like I like it. All right, I ain't got to I ain't got to put that ice in it, Brittany. I always be telling my son, "Now that stuff too loose. You put me some ice in, I ain't want that that super stuff." Oh yeah. Let me taste it, you guys. Ooh, that's yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I mean, that's so yummy and sweet. That yogurt really helps it at them fruits because a lot of times the frozen fruits we get, uh, they ain't just uh, naturally sweet. They just not any in in sweetener or anything added to it. Well, being this um, almond milk, it has a little sweetening to it. But this is really good. Okay, you guys. This is it with the um, strawberry and banana and flaxseed smoothie. So um, I'm like my daughter. Send me some ideas if you know some combinations that you use. That you would like to share with me that I can uh, fix me some smoothies. And uh, I'll probably try to have um, a smoothie or either a juice video for you guys. Uh, uh, at least twice a week uh, twice a week when I get everything, when everything is over with. Uh, and we get back. Now, wait a minute. You ready? Let me know. Go ahead. You already done started? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm not going to hold up now uh, for sure because the camera cut off on us in the middle of whatever that I was saying. But anyway, I just want to say, y'all, be, be blessed, stay safe, keep the faith, and this all going to be over after a while. God bless you, and may, may love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.